welcome to Mini Metro and my attempt at the daily challenge. Oh, it's New York City on extreme. So this should be short. As the high score at the moment is less than a thousand. And I'm just curious. Oh, that's not bad. My score yesterday was still in the top 50 just. And I'm kind of proud of that score because it's my personal best for Seoul. Anyway, on with today's challenge, New York City on Extreme. This is going to go badly. That much I can guarantee. And as it's Extreme mode, I do not tend to close loops and I don't put it on fast mode either because I can't handle extreme on fast mode and thank you so much that's going to give me another station between the purple and the square line sorry the purple and the square station down below them where I just don't need it already it's being cruel well it's a triangle that's something I suppose Let's go around that away. I have three bridges, that's something, I suppose. Why well, is this my norm on extreme? I'm hoping to reach 250. If I reach double that, I will be A, amazed, and B, really impressed. Let's go around with the red one. Ah, okay, and it's going to put a station on the left side of the river. It should cause me some problems at some point. I'm not the biggest fan of extreme mode, I must admit, because if you get anything wrong, you can't correct it. And as it's me, and as I frequently get all sorts of things wrong, I tend to have a bad time. In addition, just like this triangle appeared between that square and that triangle, you can't extend the line out to, to meet it, so... That's not great. So if you get an angle wrong, you suddenly get a station in a place where you weren't expecting one. Or really didn't want one. Well, then things tend to go horribly wrong. And of course, I can't use my usual tactics of having an emergency line and, tr and train to spare. Because that just doesn't work, because you can't delete lines to use them in different circumstances. Not sure which way I want to go with this one. Whatever I do, I'm thinking it's going to be horrible, but I'm waiting to see what that station that's occurring in the middle section, the top right of the middle section, is going to be before I decide what to do. Okay. Oh, great. Alright, we will do that, then that. And in fact, we'll even stretch out that far. Oh, that could possibly be a mistake. Because I've used a bridge when I didn't need to. And I'll stretch the green line out over there. That way, if, depending where it gives me my next station, which apparently is going to be over there, I've still got a line to spare, though I could definitely use a bridge at this point having made the mistake of stretching that one out over there. Hmm. Well, I can't extend the red line out to it, so it's either going to be the green line or the blue line. And I'm thinking it's going to be the blue line because the green line is long enough by itself. And it's about to get a little bit longer. Be 
Okay, so I can just see the next station slowly building itself up over on the left side of the map. Which, of course, it would be another circle. Like a locomotive. I did not get a bridge, so... be honest, at this point a carriage is probably the best thing I can do. And I'm going to show an extra locomotive on the green line. And I'm thinking I'm probably going to end up with the carriage on there. But either the blue line or the green line is going to have to extend down there because I've got no bridges left. It's kind of six or one half dozen the other, so I'll go with the blue line. Ah, and that's not going to be good. Another train in the middle. The only thing I can get to it is the red red line. It's going to have to bend back on itself like that and create a sharp angle. And then they have to do it again because it just decided to give me another station right next to the one it just put there. And this is why I don't like extreme mode. Well, there's lots of reasons I don't like extreme mode, but when it does stuff like that, I really don't like extreme mode. On the plus side, it gave me a square, which is kind of helpful. And now I'll save the carriage, actually. I was thinking I'm going to need to put it on the red line, but I will save that carriage for the moment. I'm guessing this one's probably going to end up being a circle because it's just the type of luck I have. Not that really going to matter because the pink, the pink or the purple line, whatever you want to call it, is going to have to go out there anyway. But I'm going to put the carriage on the red line in preparation for the fact I know it's going to be excessively busy. There's just nothing I can do about that fact. But fortunately I'm about to reach the end of another week. Well, I've, I've achieved now achieved my target. Which, as I mentioned when I started, is 250 points. I'll take a line. Not that I think it's going to make much difference in the end. could do something additional with the stations on the red line to try and ease what is liable to be a pretty horrific burden up there in the not too distant future. However, my next station is going to be down towards the bottom of the blue line. so guessing that the blue line is going to go to be the one that actually connects to it. But what I could do is draw from that square to there to there, possibly to there, and down there with the orange line to take the pressure off the red line. Or take some of the pressure off the red line. But I don't want to do that just yet unless it becomes really necessary. Because I might need the orange line for something different in the not too distant future. Well unfortunately, because it's telling me it's going to build the next station up there, I'm going to have to circle the blue line round. I'll think about that for the moment. Wait till that blue train's gone back. Again, I could put the orange line out here. But no, I'll put the blue line up there. And I'll 
keep the orange line in reserve. So I'm getting to a Sunday. So I might get something useful. Turn up on the Sunday and we'll bend the pink line around there. And now I didn't get anything useful. Ah, now the red line's going to have to bend back on itself again, or I'm going to have to use the orange line, which I think is probably going to be the better bet. Now, at least I've got a spare carriage and a spare train, so... Yes, I'm going to use the orange line if I can get this right without messing it up. I'm going to bend it around like that. down there so at least those stations get serviced by more than one train and this is probably going to be a circle I'm going to bend the green line round to it which means I might as well throw the green carriage on that green train because the green line is going to get messy on the bright side Apparently I'm about to achieve a miracle and actually get double the, my expected score. Which I do find truly amazing for me. Of course, my biggest problem is I have no bridges and knowing my luck, the next station or one of the next stations is going to be over here. The very next station is going to be up here. I'm just wondering which station is going to be the biggest problem for me to actually need to... And great, another station up there as well. Oh, the green line is definitely going to get out of control. There's no two ways about it. I'll let that train go back before I extend the green line up there. Because I don't have a great deal of choice. Oh, and that created a bad angle too. Well, that's going to have to be the red line because it's the only one I can get a decent angle with it. But yes, I've got a train with a carriage on it that's completely full by the time it gets down here for the green line. Okay, another locomotive, another line. seeing a good situation here so oh, the next train's next station's going to be down there so I'll wait to see what that is before I connect this triangle which doesn't seem to have any passengers waiting at it purple line. Okay. Yeah, the green line's about to go out of control. And there's nothing I can do about that. Just purely because of the number of Well, there is something I can do about it, and I might as well do it just to make sure that I survive. The problem is then there's nothing I can do about this lot. Well, probably nothing I can do about that lot in time. In fact, I know there's nothing I can do about that lot in time, but we're going to do this anyway. Bad though it may be, I don't have too many choices. station is going to go before it gets to Saturday, or so it gets to Sunday, sorry, which means I'm not going to get another anything in time to actually help out. Oh well, I lost. But I did better than I expected to. 809 passengers for my wonderful little train system completely and utterly failed. And apparently that puts me currently in the top 10. I won't be there for very long. 
But still, it could have been a lot worse. Well, that was my mini Metro, mini Metro Daily Challenge attempt for the 15th of July 2017 in New York City on Extreme Mode. As always, I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I will see you down the road.